welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Told me so. Bubba Skunk Number Two by Ross Dude. Was that Gene, English? You're going to St. Louis Tits. I'm there. Yeah, September 22nd and 23rd at Hiriam Comedy Club. Definitely not LA, but I've never been to St. Louis Tits. Have you? Many times. What should I eat there? Uh, you gotta have. They always have pork <laughs> sliders. What they're known for. <laughs> okay, I'll be eating that. October 3rd, Narshville. Ten, ten tits. Yep. Ten tits. Zany's Com Club, October fourth, Shortlet North, Caracayo, Carolina, the Comedy Zone, and then October eighth with my Jean live, your mom's house live in Sperm Vine, California, and that's it until twenty eighteen, guys. Mama likes to take the holidays at home. You know what I'm saying? Holler at your boy, September twenty seventh. Two shows in albany at the funny bone first one sold out second one only had like 30 tickets left so by the time you hear this i don't know what's left the next day reading pennsylvania the uh Santander performing arts center the next day the state theater uh, uh september 29th in portland maine and the end of the week at the big old sony center for the performing arts in toronto ontario canada Part of JFL 42. I'm Ontario, that's the province I'm from. That is the province you're from. <laughs> um, and I, I go from there, I'm home for a little bit, and then I go to Ann Arbor, Indian Apple Tits, and the Hard Rock, Hard Cock. Yeah, I was going to say. Comcino in Northfield, just outside of Cleveland, Ohio. I go to St. Louis Tits then later in October. Oh, you do? Yeah, and then Fart Go, North, North Dakota. So I've not been there, but I like the TV show. It's fantastic. And the movie. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'm um, very excited. Go to tomsegura.com slash tour or go to Christina P. Online.com. That's what. New, new identity with my special dropping, Christina P. It's universal. October 10th. Uh-huh. And we are inferior. October 8th. Live. I, I said it. Okay. Live, I said it. Live Palmcast. Palmcast. Um, all right, Gene, a lot to get into. Let's get the show on the road. Here we go. Well, this is new tonight. A family has had enough. They say a woman is defecating on their sidewalk <laughs> near Briargate and Union in Colorado Springs. The family says they've caught her in the act twice now. They've begged her to stop, but now Springs police are getting involved. This shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. The Mad <laughs> Pooper, Colorado Springs. This is good. I thought for a second when I heard this story that it was you. What? Oh, because I was in Denver. You're in Colorado, right yeah. <laughs> I thought it was you. What are you talking about? This is a very handsome um, news reporter. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> She's a very handsome woman. Why do you say that? It's kind of like it looks like a, a dude with a bob haircut, right? <laughs> like legit. <laughs> Is it a transgender? That's not, no, that's not. Why are you doing that? That's not nice. What? what Listen, are you doing? here's why I'm being a jerk about this stuff. Because if you work in television, you should be attractive. Babe, God, you're vicious sometimes. Well, it's the truth. I, I demand the same excellence from the males, too, just so you know. What's your pronoun? <laughs> well, there you go. I'm, was... I'm harsher on the guys, believe me. Actually, she really is. I know. Especially right. the old hound, basset hounds they have on. Morally safer. ESPN. <laughs> yeah, ESPN. I'm morally safer. He's dead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he died the week after he retired. 
He retired oh, and then he died. <laughs> like a week later, maybe a month. Yeah, got to work right up until the end, huh? I know. It is funny because <laughs> you were the first person to point that out to me, and I'd never thought about it. It's like one of those things you don't think about where you would walk by the TV and you'd be like, ah, they allow this guy on TV? <laughs> And I'd be like, what? And you're like, he's so ugly. They would never let a woman like that on TV. Never. And then I was like, I started to, the more you think about it as you watch TV, if, you, if you've never thought about it, think, think about it now. And you're like, that's definitely true. That, oh. that dude looks like dog shit. Hot dog shit. <laughs> Old dog shit. And if you look at, especially in the sports world, like oh, now they got sports is up. They got these cuties down on the ground, yeah, uh, interviewing the coaches, and their hot, their hair's all curled in tendrils, and they've got the the other thing I, I didn't short pay skirts, it. yeah, oh yeah, the little hotties on the sidelines. That's a, <laughs> that, that's been a phenomenon for the last fifteen years or yeah. so. But the um and like yeah, sometimes you're like, does she really? Wait, but yeah, is she really? Does she understand sports? Because I sure is. Some of them know. really, really. I'm do. sure. Yeah. But then you got the Basset Hound gang. That's uh, the ESPN guys. After yeah. they're talking about the game for five hours, and you're like, these guys look like shit. A lot of them look like shit. The other yeah. thing is, uh, their dad jokes. Oh uh, God! I how would even get into the point of unbearable? Just accepting their humor, like being like, oh, that's part of it. And now I judge it more harshly, like these fucking tools <laughs> making their terrible jokes. And they're like, right, look, 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 at, <sighs> look at Scott, what he's doing right now. And then they're like, oh. <laughs> it's, and they act like it, it's really bad. It's intolerable. Really bad. And especially because they can hire comedy writers, there's, n there's no shortage of funny people in the world to write for it's you. supposed locker room banter, like them just being <laughs> guys, but a lot of it's super lame. Uh, terrible. Yeah, I can't. I, 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 wa I don't even watch it with you. That's your one, That's I would say the one thing you and I really don't share as a hobby is is football but i'll walk no i'll yeah. walk into the room and i'll hear some stupid Which dad joke and fine and just by the leave. way you can have separate interests yeah you know of course no i know i'm just like I, yeah. I feel like some people are like you know the whole we do everything together or whatever. gotta do it all together no nah, we're we're a bonded pair that means we do everything i feel like we should um jump into the fact that i mean obviously this <laughs> young lady uh, uh, is in mm. Colorado and uh, we, uh, we were there uh, I shot a special this weekend that's right in uh, Denver in Monver Colorado and it was an awesome awesome experience great night thank you to everybody that came out I even added a show the night before at Comedy Works and that was really fun I was so scared going into the week because I was sick, the sickness that you now hear in Christina's voice. Thank you. Uh, and I was anxious, man, because you know you're going into a taping and you don't feel good, and you're Ugh, coughing, and you can, your throat doesn't feel right, and nasal drip. I mean, it was it was terrifying. I mean, I really had anxiety about it, not about the show, just about being sick, you know. And thankfully, the the day of the sh the, the night before the show, if, if I, honestly I, I had considered canceling that comedy work show because I was like, what am I doing, you know? I'm taping tomorrow. I don't feel good. I'm doing another show. I don't need to do this show, but I was like, I'll just do it. And I did it, and then I was like, I'm going to bed. And I, I got some NyQuil, took my meds, and I got good sleep. Like, I got solid, you know, eight hours or something. Or I, I woke up, and I was like, I don't feel like absolutely dragging, like I'm exhausted right now. And that put me in a good mental place that, like, I got good rest I was still sick, but I was I was coming out of it, you know. Like I still and right now, I just have like the lingering last effects of it. But I had the I had the uh, you know the thought like, oh okay, I'm well enough to get through. And then you arrived, and um, and then I got I got sick before I came, and that right. was fine. The kids sick, but I'm saying sick. when you got there, we were like, let's <clears> do something. They're like, no, let's just get in bed. So we got in bed, turned the lights <laughs> off again. This is why we're married. Yeah. And we yeah. and we tried to I think we slept for like another half hour or something like that. Yeah. And then we got lunch and then it was like, okay, like the routine, you know, the day is getting going and we just kind of we eased into it. We just took it easy. Yeah. And then that night, I mean, that was nuts, right? Like those Crazy. Those... You know what I didn't realize cuz I haven't been going with you on these shows. Like I've just been only hearing about them cuz we don't travel together anymore yeah. cuz of the kid really. Um, is how many fucking people were there? Yeah. Like, you've told me the numbers, and then until you see like a theater of people who are so geeked to be there, and these people were so pumped, it was so fun. I was like, oh my god, like how are you this normal? 
<laughs> like, if that were me, I'd probably just be freaking out. Like, oh my God, they're going to hate everything. Wait, oh why, why do you say that part? I just have a negative self talk. But you, I feel like, how does it not make you like an unbearable egomaniac? I, I'd be like, I don't know how, how you deal with it. I uh, think it's normal. <laughs> like, I mean, oh my God, there's so many people here. I don't know. I'm not an unbearable egomaniac to begin with. I You're guess. not. It's not your nature, but you do you do dislike people. <laughs> I mean, somewhat, <coughs> somewhat. But I mean, I like. You know, it's funny. I was like, we talk about things on this show. Like, I always make jokes about like I don't like crowds, and I don't like I don't want to fucking. You know, I have I've had jokes in my act. Like I'm all friended up and all this stuff. Yeah. And when you say those things in your act and you talk about it, then people end up like people. I meet people after shows. And they go, I know you don't want to meet me right now. Uh, I know this is your least favorite part of this right now. And I'm like, no, because it's always super nice people. Yeah, of course. So I'm, like, I'm like, that's not what I'm talking I'm talking about just the masses, you know, like loud. A lot of nondescript. I think people individually are great. Yeah. It's the crowds where you're, you don't you know, know what's happening. You know what'll make you hate people? Uh, going to an NFL game. All blues like, we went oh. to the Broncos game. And like you're just seeing, I mean, there's great people at the game, but there's just the loud, obnoxious, drunk, yeah. asshole, the scumbags that fill scumbags. every NFL yeah. stadium. And you're like, oh my God, can they just put these people down? There should just be a scumbag area where like, if you want to be drunk and annoying, go there. You know what I was I was amazed by? The, sh- the restraint that I saw these, like they were throwing a guy out <laughs> and the, he was wearing a purposely gigantic oversized cowboy hat oh boy and uh he was a cowboys fan because the cowboys were playing the broncos oh, okay. and uh him and his friends were getting tossed out and he was just like to these guys he's like fuck you you fucking pigs <laughs> and i was like who in society does that like who scumbags right like but you, dirt bags we were just watching him like <laughs> who, how out of your mind are you that like well you're like suck it, you fucking pigs, <laughs> to the to like to cops and the security like, no, cops, no police, oh, police officers. Came. Yeah, like he's and he's like you fucking pigs and like double you know, the double birds, double birds and like pointing to his dick. Fuck you, you pieces of shit. And and then they're kind of slowly walking towards, like very calmly, and they're like, mm-hmm. yeah. And then he kept backing up, and he had this giant oversized hat on. Like not a regular cowboy hat. It's like purposely I got enormous. It. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I look over at other cops in the in the car, and they're looking and they're like smiling. And I was like, you see? And they're like, yeah, we see him. We see him. Like, <laughs> I think it's like your life sucks, and then you're gonna take it out on the police at the game. Yeah, and you're at a football game. We do take it man? out on them. Well, that's what that's why people act fools in public, right? Yeah, they they can't control their lives, and they get out in public, and they they're gonna control this, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna show the but man. As much as I All like right, football, bro. as much as I like football, every time I go to a game, I regret going to a game. Yeah, well, because it's the it's the uncontrolled masses. It's, yeah, yeah. It's just as a collective, we suck as humans. I think I would like to go to a game if I could get a field pass. Like, oh, that'd be you, cool. Like where you stand on the sidelines. For the simple fact that I would love to watch football live and not be near another human being. Now, can't you get like super private boxes? Yeah, I've done boxes. I, 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 I'm I conflicted about boxes. Boxes are really like, it's, uh, I guess it's kind of the, it's it does isolate you and it's kind of a luxury That's a nice experience. feeling, right? It's, it's nice. It's nice, but um, <laughs> no, it's good perspective. You know, like you, you see the game, but I feel kind of removed from it. I mean... You know, like when you go to like whatever a high school game, you know you can you can walk on the sideline or like close to it. You know, I like I like being like down on the field. I do like it, and I know you can get that. I've talked to uh, some people about getting a field pass to a game before, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, nice. we can arrange that." But I mean, it's you know, it's not like you can you go on StubHub and be like field pass. It's like you yeah. have to yeah. you have to make it should be special. You have to make calls. Um. Yeah, I like that. I like that you're out about hating people. I like that I you outed me on this show about being an L.A. snob and how... You hate everywhere. I yeah. hate everywhere that's not home. It's not L.A. You're it's not right. L.A. Yep. I don't even give a shit. My favorite part about that for you, though, yeah. is because I kind of feel this way like, a little bit, too, <laughs> is um everybody feels free to shit on L.A. Like, it's like a... Uh, yeah. You know, and so a lot of times people are like, when I meet them, they're like, where do you live? I'm like... Oh, I live in LA. They're like, I can't stand it. And I'm like, where where the fuck do you live? 
And then they, you know, they list wherever, Toledo or something. I'm like, is that great? And they're like, I like it. I'm like, yeah, I like where I live too. Fuck you. you know? Right. That's kind of how I feel and, about it. And it's it's not that I think L.A. is better than everywhere else. It's familiar no, to no, me. No, no, <laughs> I don't like unfamiliar. I would like to correct you. You feel like L.A. <laughs> is better. Than it's everywhere. better for me because I'm. it's familiar to me. And like I know That's there true. are better places to live in the world. That's obviously. what's great about being home. Home is yeah, familiar. it's home. And like I like my nice weather. I don't care about the traffic. It doesn't bother me. I don't fucking care about celebrities. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, I like it when people go. I can't do all that Hollywood stuff. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> don't are worry you about, it. about it. You won't have to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I like avocados. I like fresh <laughs> produce. Yeah. I like oranges and stuff that aren't gray. No, well, once you, I mean, gray bananas. That's what I see on the East Coast when I go to these places like Buffalo or Syracuse, whatever. It's it's all gray bananas. It's like, gray what bananas. the fuck are you getting your bananas from, dude? Come to California. Yeah. Shit's all yellow here. Yeah, dude. Fucking bro. Bro. You guys don't even know what an avocado looks like. Dog. I've been in parts of this country where they've not even seen an avocado. Your fruit ain't the right color, man. Hell no. Fuck out of here with that. You got our shit from Mexico, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we talk about this pooper? Yeah, we can. But I also wanted to one last. Um, I mean, I really wanted to say it meaningfully. Thank you to everybody in Denver because that was that was a thrill for me to shoot a special in a city that I've you know I've always told you I love Denver. I do, and you guys came out and the the shows were fucking. Nuts. They're so fun. It's going to be such a great special, and I'm really excited for people to be able to see it on um, Netflix, right? Yeah, yeah, it'll be on Netflix. Do we have an ETA on when it may drop? No, nah, people keep asking me. I mean, I they haven't told me. They'll, ballpark. They'll give me ballpark. I know that typically they do the three to four month turnaround. Yeah. But sometimes they change it up, so we just don't know. That's true, because I film mine in June, and then it's dropping in October. Yours was like so right on that schedule. Yeah, yeah. So, so there you go. So around there. Um. All right, what? so there's a lady pooping in Colorado Wait. Springs. <laughs> but the altitude gets me every time in Momver. I'm very sensitive to it. Yeah, yeah. It um, does affect me. I can't you. breathe and stuff. <sighs> I it does. breathe like the, <sighs> the altitude. <sighs> Spencer, this is so Spencer, gross. What is this the family is so gross. You never hear somebody say that. <laughs> Alisa, according to the Buddy family, about once a week, they're getting all too familiar with the paper towels she wipes with and uh. the nasty surprises she leaves behind. <laughs> she nasty. Uh, she's so nasty. Isn't it? To take off that one-piece spandex that's unitard. That's but I'm her. saying she's wearing a one-piece unitard. That means she's got to strip completely naked to take a shit. Yeah. So she's getting down to titties. <laughs> she's crazy right. as hell. You're right. That's we extra crazy. Paper Pine Creek. <laughs> Kathy Buddy and her family have had enough. And it's not like it's private. People can see you. I mean, we're <laughs> seeing her, so. Pants yeah. around ankles in broad daylight. Ugh. Her kids saw it happen first. They came screaming, you know, you're not going to believe this. They're like crying. It's like, what? And they're like, there's a lady taking a poop. And so I come outside, it's like, oh, dear goodness. <laughs> and so I was like, are you serious? Are you, are you <laughs> really taking a poop right here in front of my kids? And she's like, yeah, sorry. Just, yeah, sorry. She didn't have an excuse. Yeah. Like, I have diarrhea, can't find a bathroom. Or like, it's clearly a runner. So I could get if you're like, oh, this happened, you know, like I, I, I panicked, I, this yeah. emergency, but it doesn't sound like that's what's well, happening. Because running makes you have to poop. Yeah, but I mean, so I'm saying like in the running I've done, I've still never had to be like, oh my God, right now, right here, yeah. I have to go. Like maybe this lady has a bowel problem, like mm, an IBS thing. But listen to this though. <laughs> Kathy says if that was it, there wouldn't be a problem. And so I thought for sure she's mortified. <laughs> it was an accident. She'll go get a dog bag, come back, clean it up, you know, and never run here ever again. Um, not the case. Kathy says the runner knows what she's doing and comes with napkins in her pockets. <laughs> mm -hmm. And <laughs> nasty. Here's the other thing. Nasty. As this well. is this is why I have a theory on this. There's a bathroom across the street right here. <gasps> Um, our park has porta potties. Um, there's a gas station right here. She's even working on an embarrassing smear campaign, posting this sign to get her to cut the, well, you know, cut the, well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> local news Nerds. humor. Uh, this lady is totally getting off on shitting in public. That's this is the equivalent of a man who pulls his dick out. You know, it is. You mean it's a sexual arousal or not necessarily sexual a power play? There's a thrill. There's some type of thrill going on. She like, she likes taking a dump 
in public, <laughs> wiping it there, either people seeing her and going like, are you really doing this? And she's like, yep. Yeah. Or discovering it. She gets a thrill out of doing it. I can see it. Actually, now that I know you explain it that way, I could see myself doing that and getting Wait, a thrill. Wait, what? That's not supposed to Don't be. Don't you feel you like say. it? No. Because it's sneaky, and now that she knows they're on her, yeah, the game a, is escalated, yeah. and you have to now. It's a real challenge. Like now, she's she knows she's doing a naughty, bad, yeah. and dirty thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she's breaking the law, mm-hmm. and it's just a matter of time before they catch her, though. It is. I mean, they're just gonna wait for her. Can they just wait for her? Oh and, yeah, you know, she and, jogs and, like, and get her now. They're definitely if any like people that watch this in that community. I'm sure they probably have pegged her by now. I'm sure. <laughs> What's the penalty for shitting in front of? Well, they're house? gonna they're gonna trump up some charges. Well, know? what's the charge? <laughs> Public um, indecency, maybe. Probably. Yeah. Quick, because it's disgusting. I mean, bottom line is it's disgusting. Really? Officers have asked Kathy to snap some pictures of the runner and Kathy. get the word out. Hoping she will stop before indecent exposure and public <laughs> defecation charges. Oh, there you public go. It's defecation. It's not a natural thing we would do in our society to sure it is. drop it's your trouser good. and relieve yourself Take right a shit. there <laughs> when you know there's people around, especially. <laughs> what could be more natural? What more natural? Could be more natural than taking a shit. Than taking a shit on the grass. <laughs> Kathy, let me know. Uh, She's had other people come forward and say that they have the same thing happening to them. They've seen that woman relieve herself outside of a Walgreens and in people's <laughs> backyards. You know who she is. Police would love to hear from you. There you Lisa, go. back to you. It's clearly a thing now. Yeah. She's, she's done it in front of Walgreens. Take and, your shits, man. I mean, that's her thing. Let her do it. I don't know what the big deal is. Uh, no, she's that's foul, man. And she's shitting in front of people's kids. Like, you're fucking, you're <laughs> nasty as hell. That's disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> so disgusting. I don't know. There's worse crimes in society. You no, know, there's definitely worse crimes, but like, so, human shit is so uh, gnarly. And it's harsh. She's taking runner's shit. It's uh, probably mushy. That's so funny. You know how many of my friends sent this to me, by the way? Yeah. Like all of them. Yeah. They know <laughs> they know what this show's about, man. They know what it's about. This is so gross. This yeah. is so this is gross. So gross. I like when they use we the call it a mad paper. The technical word when they're like, This woman is defecating. And I guarantee you a lot of the people listening don't know the word defecating. Yeah. Defecating is Americans are like, What what defecating? Yeah. I guarantee it. A lot of them don't know. Say, uh, this lady's taking shit from your fucking house, bro. Have you heard that um, that I'm crazy? Have you e- heard this? E- from Bill Burr? Yeah. Yes, I've heard the rumor mill. And Not a rumor. What do you feel about it? Of course. What have I been making fun of you for for forever? That Laughing when I shouldn't laugh. Right, which means that you, on some level, it resonates with you. The, what do you think of the this? The wrong evil. Oh boy. Eerily quiet sometimes when you stand next to him. I just peer yeah. into his head sometimes, like, what's going on in there? Yeah. If you're a psycho, you, you spot another psycho, and it's just like, there's, <laughs> there's a fucking movie going on there that I would love to finance. <laughs> you almost hospitalized me one time from laughing so hard. Like, I don't know if you remember this. There's 20 people for the first show, and there's a girl, Joe Rogan, that's a 12, with a guy that's a four. I said, you're very beautiful. And then she just went and ran with it and started talking about how her husband pimps her out. And uh, he would have <laughs> fights on. And for 20 bucks, you could fuck him in the back room. 20? I don't know. This girl is beautiful, and this retard is just pimping her. Good job. <laughs> so in between shows, we start talking. And what's going on? Oh, my God, I had such a great time. I go, is that stuff true? And she goes, yeah. I go, show me the monkey. And she took me in the woman's bathroom. Pulled down her pants. The girl had a monkey that was spotless. She, it nearly stunk. I ate it. I fingered it or something. And then she sucked my dick. That was it. I went back to my room. I didn't think nothing of it. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I scored. She starts going, I sucked the comedian's dick tonight. And her husband was like, what are you talking about? And she's like, I sucked his dick. And he came in my mouth. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? The cops had to hold him back. And he's like, I want my $40. That's all he wanted. Jesus. You think that's crazy? <laughs> You're right. He is the uh, biggest fucking psycho. Oh, shit. I side with Joe and Bill on this one. You're out of your fucking mind. Blue Band made that, so props to Blue Band. Wait, what part of that story was funny for All you? All of it. 
The part that the woman's husband prostitutes her to comics. Oh, so funny. What yeah, part? Wait, no, really, I'm serious. Why is that funny to you? Like, what part is <laughs> the, the giggle? It's like, you're asking me, like, I feel like you're asking me what part isn't funny okay. to that. I don't know where to start. What part is funny to you? The whole thing. Everything is funny about it. It's funny the way he tells it. It's funny that 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 happened, that that's a reality somewhere. All of it's funny. Okay. It's a funny story. So don't you like funny stories? I do. I just don't, I don't think it that, I think it's sad. I'm what part of it's sad? bummed out for the girl, honestly. Why? She liked doing it. Did she? Yeah. She was, she was all about it. That's what he then said. Then why did she cry at the end? That she cried um, when she stuck around for the second show, and then he started, um, it, she realized, like, it kind of hit her, I guess, maybe the drugs wore off or something, and then she started crying. But, like, it's funny that somebody would start crying and saying, I sucked that guy's dick in a show. I would laugh at that. Wouldn't you laugh at that? Like, she just did it. She volunteered to do it. You wouldn't laugh <laughs> at that? Can you bring this up in therapy? What about it? Just bring it up. I think you need to work on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, you don't think it's funny? No. Why not? Because it, it just isn't. It's just not, it's not like, it's not on my radar as humorous. It's like that's a, it's a story where I'm like, it's sad. I feel bad for that lady. I laughed. That's half as hard as I laughed the first time he told me that. The first time he told me that, I seriously could have used an oxygen tank. Okay. I laughed so hard. <laughs> just like I laughed at that Wu-Tang story about oh when, they my were, God. when they were super... That's why Bill thinks you're a psycho. Didn't it start there? Well, I told him that story. He did not. He didn't laugh. Yeah, because it. Bill and I have what's known as empathy. You always say that bullshit. <laughs> He's actually a really, uh, you know, sweet guy. I'm not. You don't Burr's see me with... like a tender... I'm not a sweet guy. Cuddle bear. You no, you me. you are too, but I do feel like you have these dark demons inside that you're not really letting on. What do you mean? The uh, the rage inside, it's the no rage of stuff like I, that. I laugh at things that are inappropriate. You know that. I you know, know, as do I. Yeah. Me mental illness makes me laugh a lot. Right. I think that that stuff's real funny. You think that that there's no um, suitable critique of that quality? It's just not as sadistic as like. Suffering, like what you're laughing at, is that this woman? <laughs> I'm not even in the, the story, and you're already dying. <laughs> that's the difference. Is like, <coughs> I'm I'm basically laughing at like the guy with Tourette's because that's a silly byproduct of mental illness, not uh -huh. mental illness, but of a, a neurological neurological disorder. disorder. Yeah. Um, s things that schizophrenic people say is funny to me because it's just a byproduct of, of mental illness but yeah. you're laughing at true suffering <laughs> it's the suffering that gives you the tickle yeah like this woman was drugged and then her husband pimps her out and then she gets with Joey Diaz <laughs> Okay, and then during the show, shouts it out that I sucked that guy's dick, and, and what does a husband do to her? He wants his forty dollars. He's not mad that she sucked his dick. He's mad that he hasn't been paid. Okay. Yeah. So the depravity. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't, I can't believe I would have to explain what's funny. About I that. actually, and I'm being like, this isn't shtick or anything. Like, I genuinely don't know what's funny. Oh. Like, it's sad and depraved. More to than me, it. it's sad that somebody says, "I don't know what's funny." That's what's sad. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't, I'm, no, I I'm don't serious. I am, see the humor. I am so serious when I say <laughs> it's sad to me that somebody is like, I don't, I don't understand what's funny about that. Okay. That's what's sad to me. Because <laughs> even in Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, yeah. I do get it. Like he snaps the hooker's neck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then the guy looks back and goes, and I, yeah. that, that look is funny. Yeah. It's the look that's funny to that crazy thing happening. But I get the feeling that you're laughing at the hooker's neck being snapped in the first no, place. No, no, It's the reaction. I, it's the reaction. Please say it's the reaction. It's the reaction. And it's also that, <laughs> it's also that like, um, th what's funny about that, it's, it'd be like if somebody was like, hey, these people need to shut up. And then one of them goes and snaps their neck and you're like, I didn't mean like that. Right. Like, it's like one of those things, you know? That, like, that is... It's an extreme... It's an extreme reaction to a thing normal to do. problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But then I... See, then I feel empathy for the person who just got killed. See, I don't, that's where I... Because it's not real. It's a fucking movie, you know? What about the, the Asian man that got his legs crushed <laughs> and he was screaming for help and... It... <coughs> a lot of people agreed with me that that was hilarious. A lot. 
What was funny about about it that time that I'm? What Everything. am I missing? Oh my god! Again, it's like I feel like I'm explaining what's funny to my mom or something right now. It's like <laughs> I mean, the look, the sound, the fact that the car kept going back up, the engines revving. The the the, guy, the guy's yelling. He doesn't even know how to say words. He's yelling in so much pain. Yeah, you got to bring this up. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? <clears throat> Just I don't know, dude. Just explain this to him. Yeah, uh, I'll be like, uh, hey, I want to talk to you about something. That, um, Do you... I laugh when super funny things happen, and I'm I don't understand why. It's not super funny things. It's super violent things. <laughs> super inappropriately violent things that hurt hurt people. I just think too, like it's a little suspect. Your just love of murder and like last night <laughs> we'd watch this great movie together, Baby Driver. Yeah, fantastic, silly title, great movie, great movie. And I'm like, okay, good night, sweetie, I love you. I give you a kiss, good night. And then I just hear, bang, 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 stab, 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 kill. And I'm like, what the fuck? I can't fall asleep to this, dude. Yeah, and it's like another. Angry murder kill. But I mean, here's the, what's it's funny: is always like, somebody would listen to this and be like, "Oh my god! Like, what kind of thing are you watching? Oh, it's this little-known series called Narcos on Netflix." Okay, so if it's not Narcos, it's usually like, "And the victim was a blonde woman, yeah. a 41-year-old mother of one son named Ellis, oh, and stop. they lived in a suburb of California." Okay. Yeah, and then you know, then I gotta hear that stuff in the background. So what are you saying? I'm gonna murder you. I didn't say it. You're just dead. Is that what your? That, but that's what your fear is. It feels like it. Why? Because I watch shows. No, it feels like you do have some kind of repressed anger that's expressing itself through your choice of humor and entertainment. Like I have to tell you that <laughs> I don't watch murder shows as freak. I don't. I just never do. Not interested. Yeah, but I think it's not hilarious. interested because you're not the only. Like my mother's a type to go like, oh, you just love these murder shows, and then you have to go like. Hey, do you think that this murder show was made? And they're just like, I hope, I hope this one guy watches it. I mean, you realize that millions of people watch. It's okay, this millions show. of people have mental problems. It's okay. Not my deal. Okay. I'm a, I, people also like these white bummer movies and medical dramas. I don't like medical dramas. True. Don't want to watch people with cancer. Yeah, no, I'm the same way. Fuck that. So am I. But I think that every night. I mean, it's okay. It's like, it's the same thing all the time. Every yeah. night it's murder, 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 kill, kill, kill. <laughs> Confessions of murderers, murders, and murders. I like it. It's entertaining. Okay. I would like to watch those shows or shows of people screaming because they, you know, got hit by something. Or yeah. yeah, I told you about that time I laughed uncontrollably in a guy's face when he told me a bathtub was dropped on him. Right? I know. Yeah. I've heard it before. I think I, I'm I laughing that hard. Honestly, if if I would really break it down. Because it's so terrifying, maybe to me, on a level, you know what I mean? Like murder and, and these horrible. No, not murder. And... No, I'm not talking about murder. I'm talking about like when, when I laugh really hard, it's so extreme to my psyche, and I kind of fear it in such a way that it's how I process what's going on. In other words, like mm. when that guy told me that the bathtub was dropped on him and he was really sincere and like told me what it did to him, I think. It wasn't like, oh, I'm laughing at your misfortune. It was like, I couldn't look at him and process what was going on, so I, I had to laugh, you know? Like, I laughed to deal with it, mm -hmm. you know? It's like laughing when you, when you shouldn't laugh. Yeah, you can't handle the actual feelings about it. I think I can't handle the actual feelings you about it. You can't even go there. I yeah. hope, I hope that's what's happening. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, but that Joey Diaz story is just funny. That's just a funny story. <clears throat> yeah. What inspired you to put this together with Nadav? Um, Blue oh, I just thought it was funny that uh, that I laughed really hard during that thing and that Joe was like, uh. <laughs> Now, did Joe say anything at, at your ridiculous amount of laughter? No. I actually asked him afterwards. I go, I was laughing so hard at that. And I looked at you and I saw you like with that expression. Like, I thought that you, you know, he was like, oh, I didn't, I don't remember. Like we were all smoking and drinking. Sure. He's like, I'm, I don't even remember that. Can I have a tissue, please? Yeah. Well. But I mean. No, yeah, I don't know, dude. I thought it was funny to put that together. I 
don't know. No? You think I need help? Yeah. Please. You need help. I get help. I go every week, dude. Now, I'm having a flashback of a beautiful detail snow removal op I did uh, just north of here at the plateau last year. I'll elevate it up like that there. Hey, that fucking greeter has a plow in the front. Wow, that's fucking rare. Yeah, buddy. That's fucking rare. Beautiful. Look at that. It's a snow plow, Dad Boner. <laughs> like, you see how excited he got about that? God, he's, snow looks terrible. He's videoing it? a snow plow, and he's like, oh my God, it has that feature. That's fucking rare. Oh my God, I think that's an old fucking Freightliner FLD from, uh, <laughs> from the 90s. Not a lot wow. of those left around here. He's running, too. I oh. mean, come on. Oh, yeah, man, there's my thumbnail right there. Beautiful old fucking Freightliner. I remember even, I think I filmed that truck before in St. Henry. Oh, he films it regularly. Yeah, right on. Yeah, man. Man, look at a sleeper on that thing. <laughs> That's a big rig, man. What's this guy's accent from Master of Accents? Uh, he, it, this was filmed in Montreal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, that baby wasn't made after 2009. It sounds too good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This fucking guy <laughs> loves snow plowing. Yeah. I mean, well, this is definitely on the dad boner chart. Everybody now. has something. You love killing and depravity, and this guy likes snow plows, so. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something, guys. This is definitely a first, man. Oh, yeah? I mean, really. I got the same team here, the same company, clearing the snow on this tree here, which I don't remember what the hell it's called. And they just did that side, and they got to do it again because there was so much snow. Jeez. That's fucking weird. There's actually two teams. See, look, there's the, <laughs> there's the other one is right there. He's I super mean, stoked about it. I this. mean, his level of passion for snow plowing is unlike. So weird. You kind of respect it, though, right? You're like, you really love yeah. this shit. I mean, everyone gets excited about something. Yeah. Like, but this is a, I'm just marveling at the amount of snow. That, that looks terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel claustrophobic when snow falls like that? Mm, claustrophobic? Yeah, like, because I didn't grow up in that. Like, do you feel, I, I kind of feel claustrophobic. Like, it's, I'm trapped inside. Oh, no, no, no. You don't feel like, oh, my God, the snow's going to take over. It's going to no. kill me. Mm -mm. Huh? No, no, I kind of like it. Yeah? Yeah. What What's the fun part? Like, what do you like? I mean, I don't experience it that more that much anymore. So it's a, it's kind of a thrill and, you know. Usually, it's snowing. I'm in a hotel or something. I'm like, oh, I mean, it looks beautiful. It's like cozy and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah. I like the great thing about like extremes of weather when you don't live in it is that I only experience it for like 24 hours or something, you know? Yeah. Do you feel like not doing anything in that weather, though? Yes. That's a thing. Yes. I'd, I'd weigh 200 pounds just because yeah. I'd be like, well, time to make some potato soup. Oh, yeah. Time to sit from the television. That happens. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't want to go. There's Why would you want to? A lot wanna... of deuce yeah. deuces out in the, yeah. where it snows, yeah. <laughs> of course. I would just order Postmates and like cozy up. Yeah, no. Watch some movies. Fuck yeah, man. Right? Hell here's no. Good, uh, what, here's some, some emails that came in. I do. Um, we have a Salome translation, by the way. Do blind people save on electricity? <laughs> <laughs> I, Brilliant uh, thought provoker. I, that's a good one. So smart. I had a thought while I was God. rub, rub, rubbing myself to sleep. <laughs> do you think that blind people will save a shit ton of money on electricity? <laughs> See you in Phoenix in December, Tom. Armando. OMG. Armando, I've never considered that, but as soon as that thought hits your mind, it's... Obviously, you're like, oh, that makes total sense. <laughs> it's a silly question, but then not because you're like, well, well, they have to run like the standards. You're heating, you're cooling your appliances, mm -hmm. but they don't turn the lights on. At least they don't have to. They don't have to, right? I mean, depends Gosh. on your level of blindness. I've talked to some blind people that told me that you know, there's there's levels obviously of blindness. So yeah. there's there's people that actually are seeing shades and shapes, and therefore like. You know, they sense light coming in. That can mm -hmm. affect, you know, where they see what their limited sight sees. Of course, right? yeah. And there's people that are totally 100% blind. And I but, turn the lights on just to prevent, like, burglars from assuming nobody's home. Oh, right, right. That's a, that's just a, a safety a measure and turn them on. Well, a thrilling question. I, blind people, let us know. Yeah, it's a really good one. Do you want to hear? I got a translation for Salome's Yeah, oh my voicemail. God. So a, a Salome... Uh, just to remind people, ha had not left of, uh, or the messages for Salome had not been 
left in a long time. And then um, last week out of nowhere, it happened again. I know. And, and months, months, almost months a year by. had gone by. Is that how long? Yeah. Since we moved here, which was November of last year. And we're almost in November, so a little bit less than a year. Unbelievable. 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 And I was so excited to hear it again. I was just, okay, so. So what did what was said? So this guy writes in, hi, my name is Farshid from Los Gatos, California. Mm-hmm. Whoop, whoop, Los Gatos. Big fan of the show. Translating what the Iranian woman said on your show, basically she's saying that you need to contact the termite company <laughs> and for $450 they will come and treat your area. And then she said put something white down on the floors and they will find the termites. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part about the old uh, Salome voice panel was there was this guy uh, that would translate a lot of them. He, he told me, he's like, man, it is so inappropriate for like a, a woman that is obviously an older woman to talk the way she talks. She's, she's like, cursing. Oh, he's like, she's so vulgar. She's saying things that like street guys say. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker Salome. Yeah, she talks a lot of shit, man. She used to say that. She's always lot. giving uh, Salome advice. Yeah, she's like, you know, put the put bags on the fruit trees, yeah. and you need to do this and this medicine. Pick it up from here; it costs a lot. And must yeah. be a mother. It must be a oh. mother, an aunt, a grandmother, some maternal figure in Salome's mm. life. God, this mystery. I really wish we could find Salome. I must know. I would know. love to find Salome. Listen, Persian community, can you please do some intel? Like, fucking ask people. Like, this is obviously an L.A. Persian. These are This is the, the, the number, I believe, is an 818. I think that's like asking <laughs> no, the L.A. Or 310. community. It's like asking the L.A. community, find that blonde Amanda. <laughs> Let her know. Well, here's the thing. You think that that's crazy, but immigrant communities, like in L.A., yeah. There's a finite number of Hungarians in Los Angeles. Yeah. And if I talk to one Hungo, I'll be like, hey, do you know uh, yeah. this guy, Otto, he earns the, uh, the store in Burbank? Yeah. Well, Otto's got this daughter, so-and-so. Do you know her? Yeah, actually, I do. Right, right. You can actually f- track it down. Just like you found the kid, the bike's kid. That's right. You never know because of the interwebs. So, so we need the, <laughs> the Durka detectives to get the it together. Durka, the Durka, they're not Durkas, yeah, the Persians. Durka, the Durka detectives to get together. <laughs> And solve the Salome mystery. Yeah. Solve Somebody it. knows Salome. There's six degrees of separation here. No, yeah, absolutely true. Dude, the world is much smaller now because of the interwebs. Of course. Salome. Salome. <laughs> I love it, man. So wait, anything else? Any more that we missed from that or no? Through emails? No. No, no, I'm saying from that translate. Is it? No, is it? that's it. He's like, basically, that's, that's what's going on. Um, an email that came in on your... Sneeze. Hey guys. Gosh. It's Friday, September 15th. After countless hours, long, sleepless nights, extreme night terrors, keeping me from having a decent family <laughs> life, I would like to address the research I've been doing on Tina's sneeze. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you listen very closely, <laughs> she's saying Jada as she sneezes. Oh. My theory on this is be- is after being told many times that when I was younger... By my elders, sneezing feels so good because you're getting all the bad out. Then after hearing of Gene's longtime hatred of Jada Pinkett Smith, <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that much like a high number sloppy brown, she couldn't control letting out what was to be a cry out of epic proportions. She was obviously hurting inside and extruded Jada's name in a last ditch effort <laughs> to keep the demons out of her mind and off her back. I hope this helps and I hope I can get some sleep now. It's been a rough month as I couldn't get the sound out of my head. Say hi. <laughs> Tight and definitely stay non-binary and white. Love, Sky. And white. I don't know. You so threw that's, that in a, there. that's a different. Jade. Jade. It sounds kind of like you're saying Jada. Jada. No, it's a Jada. 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 It does kind of I like don't it. hate Jada Pink. Jada. I don't hate her. Yeah. Well. I think I feel like I feel like she's in a marriage that is probably pretty wacky. I think they got a wacky thing going on. Hmm. She and um, well, don't Maybe. you think he just he slams everybody? So what though? And she's like, "Well, I'm Mrs. Smith. I'm I'm Mrs. Wilson." But I mean, who cares? Man? Who cares what? Who cares that he's doing that? So what? I am not wired for that type of a marriage, Tom. Yeah, I know, but you're also not married to fucking Will Smith. Like, think about being married to Will Smith. I picture, I picture myself married to Will Smith, and he's like, 
Uh, I just, whatever, <laughs> slammed a bunch of hoes. I'd be Damn. like, yeah, that's kind of what I signed up for. You're Will Smith. I you guess know? so. That level of celebrity, you can't expect them to be monogamous. International movie stars? I mean, I don't know. That was, that was, I mean, I know he wasn't like a hardcore rapper, but he was a rapper. It's like, yeah, of course, man. You're going okay. to fuck. I guess that's the trade-off. I mean, there are a lot of rich wives that that's what that's the game. They sign that's, up for it. That's the deal. The yes. Melanias of the world are like, well, I gotta suck this fucking troll's dick, but, but I think they, they like get nice handbags. They and stuff. sign up when they go. It's, it's not a surprise. Of course, you know? of course, you're you're a hot piece of ass, and yeah. and he's a troll, and he's got tons of. Well, he's not even a troll. Will Smith's hot. Yeah, I don't but know. You know what you married? I would be. I couldn't. I personally, I couldn't. Well, yeah. Could you? No, but I mean. That's not what I sign up for. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bond. We're in a bonded pair, you no. and I. We're like a couple of Brussels. No, man, I can no. I, I need my, I need my jeans. Yeah, we're a bonded pair. When you're gone, I'm, I'm just, I don't like it. I'm not good. Um, uh, uh, let's see here. The Dick Detectives. I'm reading the. Hey, person. Hitlers. Uh, have you ever, guys ever wondered why old man flaccid penises are always so big? Gosh. They always walk around locker rooms butt ass naked, dick swaying back and forth. Made me wonder <laughs> is this because the more boners you get, you stretch your skin out so much that as an old man, you have a bigger flaccid penis? My wife thinks it's just the gravity of 80 years of your dick hanging there that makes it gradually bigger with age. We need the help from the dick detectives. Keep it high and tight. The Coxtigators, Eric and Misty from Nebraska. Wow. wow. That's a really good question. Um, <laughs> I have seen some big old sloppy dicks in locker rooms and such. But to be fair, I've seen some small old dicks too, you know. But I do know what he's talking about that it, it appears sloppier and ploppier. It is sloppier and ploppier because, I mean, I think both of the, I don't, I don't think all the boners contribute to it, but I do think <laughs> gravity continue, contributes to it. The boners. Yeah. And some of them, mm. you know, I mean, some of them just have healthy hogs. They're just, you know, it's just like any portion of the population. But everything is sagging. It's it's, it's hanging. It's atrophy. Old. Yeah. You know, we're biological beings that break down over time. And I, I do think it's you know, like you, what you said, just loose, loose skin, loose meats. Yeah. Loose uh, Everything balls. sags more. Everything. Know? My tits are a mess. Everything's a mess. But I've seen body. little, I've seen little ones on old guys. Little peeners? Yeah, sure. But even the skin doesn't get hanging on the little peeners? I mean, yeah. The skin will hang yeah. on it, but it's still little. But like, you know, it'll have like sloppy hangy balls you know like big sloppy <laughs> balls i think the balls are more affected than the penis uh for, for men male aging and if i'm not look i haven't seen i haven't seen many old dicks and balls but on i've seen in you know films or whatnot yeah. but i i gotta show you this uh <laughs> what I, I found a new star for you uh, a strong male, performer. A strong Wait, performer. we have to watch this Rocco Sofredi documentary. I know. Every, why don't we watch it? Can we watch it tonight? I'd love to. Yeah, we'll I saved it because I saw it while you were yeah. gone. I'd, Let's definitely yeah, watch okay. it. Yeah, but I found a, a <laughs> man. Should see this guy. <laughs> what is it? What's the story? I, I'll just show it to you later, and we can talk about it next week. But I found <laughs> a, a new big dick dangler for you. Oh jeez. Yeah, really giving people the business too. You'll like it. <sighs> I will. Yeah. What? I like it or you like it? No, I definitely like it, but I want to show it to you. Okay. Yeah. He's a porno star? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. I don't know if I need it in my life, quite honestly. Yeah, I, I think you know. might be like, and you know. Oh, you nasty. <laughs> that was so fucking gross. Cool. <laughs> God, people watching on YouTube. I don't even want to repeat what you just did. Well, they just saw it. Ugh, but people just listening to the show don't what even happened? know how. I'm not even going to repeat the nasty. What did I do? Now. You did your own porno move. Uh. You're like a porno girl. <laughs> I, 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 so hot, yeah. So fun. <laughs> I love shooting. <laughs> so fucked up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God, God, it's so fucked up. Do you think those girls are? Do you think there are, there must be some girls that genuinely like love it, love fucking being whores and then there's oh, some yeah. girls that are telling themselves yes and then there are girls that Definitely. are so high that they're like what What do i have to say to do this all of your theories are correct <laughs> what do i have to say to make 150 dollars today all of your theories are right yes. oh you're gonna sneeze and then you're gonna go oh the sneeze felt so good oh <laughs> that was terrible that was terrible 
Oh, I can't believe I haven't brought this up. What? Yesterday, you came home and uh, we ordered some Thai food. And I had the Penang curry, and you had your yellow curry. <coughs> Are you done? I think so. Ugh, you got snot in your mustache? It feels so good. It doesn't feel good. I feel good right now. Okay. I feel high. I want to sneeze more. You really enjoy that? Yeah. <sighs> really holding up the whole show now, Tom. Just go. Touch Nobody that. wants to hear it. Um. So I we had our curries, and then like... 15 minutes after you ate we were sitting in the kids uh, playroom playing play-doh and you were like oh i just farted that wasn't good that oh, was a man. hot 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 oh, fart that was real bad and yeah. then you went what is that what is that when you eat something yeah let's talk about it and like within 10 minutes you can feel the water it's forming. not it's not what you just ate right it's what you ate previously that's my theory no 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 it's but, old shit but what that's you, being pushed out right but what you just ate it's triggering. It's triggering. It's contributing. It's not spicy curry on top of something nasty that you had earlier. It's not a good formula. Man, it really. But when, let's do some. Uh, let's do some terrified. detective work on this. That was terrifying. <laughs> do some Sherlock work. We were sitting in there with Brown our kid Mark. in the playroom. Yeah. And then I was like, uh, and I did like a little <laughs> butt cheek lift, and then my eyes bugged out. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Why? Because of the smell or because there was something there? Well, it was just, it was hot and I could feel my stomach going. <laughs> I was like, <gasps> I, get, it, I clinched. And I was like, oh my God. When I went out of the toilet, it was like opening a faucet. <laughs> just a brown faucet. Guatemalan faucet. Uh, it was liquid? It was really liquid? 100% seven, yeah. Oh, man. And did it burn? Not really. See, that's what leads me to believe it's not what you just ate, it's what you ate previously. You're right. And the curry What, what you was just ate is, it can't come out that fast. No. But it's making y you, your, your digestive system is going like, whoa, we need to clear out this yeah. problem right now. And then the shit you took this morning took you about 20 minutes. I noticed it took a long time. It was more normal, a little, a little more of a grind, but more normal. It, it was probably smelly from the curry. I didn't really register the smell. I can't remember. Oh. It was, what number was it? This morning was probably a three. That's not bad. No. Mine was very small, mm. which I'm surprised because I had poop soup when I came off the road and yeah. I had some curry last night. Our boy had a, had a diaper full of pellets when I woke up. When I Pellets? What no, does that mean? No, hard? No. Uh, oh, that was yesterday when I got him up from his nap. They're hard? Yeah, they were like little balls. Oh, know? he needs more fiber. Mm -hmm. He won't eat a vegetable to save his life right now. No, this morning's was better. What did it look like? Just more of a little slop. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah. <laughs> How do you toilet train the kid when they make like slops? <laughs> I mean, is that because there's a diaper mushing we're the brown? To, we're supposed to get into it right now, by the way. I know, but how do you train somebody whose shit is like mush? It's like oatmeal. Do you know, know what I mean? How do I train that? And then we got to clean up everything? I know. I just don't understand. Because my browns don't look like that. Those are those are baby browns, you know. His stomach is the intestines are still developing. Right? Oh yeah. I guess you just uh, let them uh, diarrhea in the. Mm -hmm. It's not diarrhea. It's just it's not diarrhea. normal baby shit. Yeah, they just have okay. softer browns. <laughs> you know what's great is we've been training him on the word dump. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been saying I have so excited. About mom's got to take a dump. You want to come with me? And then of course he wants to come and sit on my lap while I take a shit. But he likes to say poo poo. Mm -hmm. He likes poo poo because it's easier to say, but I'm probably home. better for his life but <laughs> for like interacting with other children and like the adults that will be in those settings for him to say, I go poo poo. Yeah. And they go, oh, okay. But him like, I dump. <laughs> I dump now. We even made the nanny laugh. Now, our nanny is a pretty reserved, yeah. adorable Guatemalan lady, and she's very proper. Mm hmm. And we even made her laugh with the dump thing. Yeah. She started laughing. She knows that's not right. She's like, oh. <laughs> Take a dump. Um, uh, check this out. I think this might be, is this in St. Louis, Tits? Where uh, is St. Louis? Well, in, Houston, Houston. Is that in Mexico? Is that where I'm going this week? Mexico? What are you talking St. about? St. Louis, Mexico. Missouri? Where is St. Louis? I don't even know. Missouri. Again, uh, where's Missouri? It's not LA. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Okay. No, St. Louis is. Uh, no, I know. It's got the arc, the triumph, the arc de triumph. The golden arches, they're called. The golden arches. Yeah. yeah. It's got no, that's McDonald's. No. 
<laughs> now you got me telling people, can I see the golden arches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At St. Louis Tits? When you get to St. Louis is basically all dedicated to McDonald's. When you get there, <laughs> like I want to see the Golden Arches. It is see, not. Yeah, I want to see Ronald McDonald. This is where like it's the headquarters <laughs> of. Uh, I watched the Ray Ray Croft movie. I know that that's not the. Case. I was really cool that you texted me like I'm watching this <laughs> movie about the McDonald's founder, and uh, it reminds me a lot of you. God, like, what? He's such a piece of shit. In that He's movie. such a pos. Yeah. He steals some dude's wife. He rips off the original co-founders. And it made you think of me? Well, he just looks like you. He acts like you. thinks like you. That's all. Just small stuff. Uh, check this out. This is in Houston. We have Houston. pointed this out before about when people that you, that, that they don't fit the way they talk, basically. Yeah, yeah. And it's a know. new genre in our show. I like Shouts it. Shouts out to homeboy Mitch, you know what I'm saying? Smixta. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mutual homie. Good motherfucker right there, you know? And you see it with, you know, there's certain... That's a black guy talking. No, that's a white guy. Oh, right. From yeah. last week. That's crazy. That's not from last week. That's from like that's three like years 10 ago. 10 years ago. Yeah. But oh, the pimp guy. That's not a pimp. But it is a white guy who talks like a pimp. Oh. Um, but then there's, you know... There's other people that you you know we've uh, that like that you know that girl who's like oh you know um, what was her name I forget her name but she this might be her right here you know what I'm saying yeah she's like you wanna fuck with my mate huh she's Asian right yeah she's she's like ghetto though yes and like you're like what hey shit without them eyelashes on that makeup on a bitch where I'm still cute as shit get the fuck up out of here I might look a little bit more ching chong ching chong but don't get me fucked up bitch I'm still hood as shit and we'll fuck your ass up like she's Asian yeah that's wild right wild. like you don't normally hear Asian chicks talking like that no. I mean it obviously exists this is in Houston it's uh it's like a little convenience store the asian dude is behind the counter looks like all the customers are black and he's talking mad shit to one of his customers so we don't know what's leading up to the shit talking but you, you get the feeling that the asian guy is justified like that the other guy has i don't know started something said something but it's just wild to see an asian dude i think like this right with the problem, not me, okay? I asked you a simple question. Did you use some motherfucker responded like you don't know what the fuck's going on? Man, fuck hey, you! Man, fuck you, bitch! Come on, fuck you! Come on, dude! Now I get your you know, Come on, bring up your chest, chest then, dog! Go. What's your bitch ass gonna do? <laughs> I mean, Shit. that is crazy. Not just like, it's not that it's an Asian dude that is, but like, that he talks like that. What's your bitch ass going to do? Comes around the corner, gets in this dude's face, right? Doesn't that seem... It's always jarring when someone doesn't look like the accent that's coming right. out of their mouth. Right. You're like, Duh. I mean... Like you, you talk like that? It's not that it's not possible, but you're just like, that's not... That it's like I, even, I even talk about it to a much lesser degree, how people react to me when I speak Spanish, and they're like, oh, I didn't think you'd speak Spanish. Right. It's like a small thing where they're like... I mean, there's obviously people who look like me that speak Spanish, but they still react. They're like, I just didn't expect that out of you, you know? And it's like when you hear this dude talk this way and he looks like this. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like stunning. Hell, no bitch ass ain't gonna do a goddamn thing, trick. <laughs> take your old best ass out of my All right. You're 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 Man, that is, that is not expected. Man. Big words. He's really part of the community if he can drop that. Trick, no one, I mean, no he said, say shit. trick ass bitch. What do you say? Like, you ain't gonna do shit, you bitch ass. Hell, yeah. Yeah. No bitch ass ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. You bitch ass ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. By the way, for those of you just listening, Take your old ass out of my this is an Asian guy. All right. Yeah, that's an Asian dude. Who doesn't bitch look aggressive at all. No. Damn, homie. But that maybe that's just what it's like to live in Houston. You start talking like that. I guess if you ever, if you're around that all the time, you would definitely pick it up. It'd be hilarious to find out his story. That's what I want. <laughs> I know. I want to know like, did you immigrate to this country and <laughs> you showed up and you were like, oh, like trying to figure out the culture and and then you just were immersed in 
gas station Houston culture. Yeah. <laughs> and like that's you're like this is the world I grew up in. Well, know? definitely. I mean, if you hear English speakers like as second language and they pick it up, ugh, they learn it like British English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're like, "Whoa, you talk all fancy like you're from England." Right. Like, native, but he so he sounds weird. like a native English speaker, right? I don't think he sounds like a Dude, No, he's native, but he's native to Houston gas station. But I'm saying <laughs> he doesn't sound like he learned no. English. No. After He's just language. culturally yeah. from this gas station <laughs> right. like this guy is <laughs> it'd be funny like where'd you learn english man at this gas station man <laughs> that's where i learned to talk to this bitch well ass. my parents uh when my mother learned english watching american television shows like sitcoms yeah like watching sanford and son and um all in the family so mm -hmm. she knew like a lot of sassy phrases mm -hmm. and you're like wait how do you know? all right how do you know like talk to the hand that's a lot, yeah. lot later this is ace town man you boys better know you just can't come in any kind of store with that bullshit. Real talk. Real talk. See, it's so Houston. Again, talk. that Asian dude was counting someone. He's like, that motherfucker got me fucked up. Yeah. Which is like real specific <laughs> to be like, for that to be part of your vernacular is pretty, you know, it's, it's like you, you don't just like hear a show once and start saying that. Yeah. That dude has been immersed in this for a long time it's wild man that is i could watch i would watch a a camera locked into this gas station on a 24-hour <laughs> so feed. would i i'd just be like just keep playing that guy why don't i give this guy a tv show yeah. instead man, of fuck you, bitch. kylie jenner i watch this guy all day i mean talk this, some shit this dude like he got heated man, man fuck you bitch. i know poor what? it's a tough kid what's your bitch ass gonna do <clears throat> do you imagine working at a gas station? No. I mean, it has to be such a dangerous job, uh, you know, late at night. And Ugh. also people are Jeez. just, most of the time, coming to get fucked up. Yeah. So it's not like your people are like, hey, man, can I get that book? You no. Know, they're like, they get hostile. Cigars, cigarettes, liquor, and beer. Liquor stores. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, there's no, it's such a dangerous job. I know. It's... Midnight on a Saturday night, Friday Shit, I, night. I've gotten uh, scared walking no. into gas stations. You of know course. what I mean? You're like, you're like, fuck, I need, to, I need to pay for this gas. So I just go to the bathroom and you're like, I need to get the fuck out of here. I think it's a really bad idea that they sell alcohol at gas stations. Yeah. Like, this is a place where you get in your car and drive away. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. It's just, it, it does attract a seedier element to these places. It shouldn't be seedy. Like, why should a gas station be seedy at all? It shouldn't be. No. But they all are. Yeah. Because of cigarettes and alcohol. Yeah, that's where you get it. You know? Yeah. No, nah, I mean, there's... I pulled into gas stations before and thought it was so shady that I'd go drive to find another one. But in different states in the U.S., don't they separate that stuff out? Like, I know you can't always buy alcohol in grocery stores, like on the yeah. East Coast. Even in Colorado, I think, don't they have separate There's There's states stores? that have um, differing laws for counties. So you can have yeah. a dry county, and then the next county over, you can buy alcohol. Yeah, I don't yeah. think they should sell alcohol at gas stations and... I know, but it's it's big business. People Nasty. make a lot of money. People make a lot Nasty. of money. Um, what do you feel about, I guess this is a question about this, eating on the turlet? As uh, we all know, there's a pretty popular YMH page on Facebook. I've noticed recently there's a rise in mommies thinking it's okay to literally eat where they shit. I can't believe this is absolutely horrific trend is going unnoticed and widely accepted. Do you think it's okay to eat on the turlet? I personally believe it's the only way to get as fat as burnt Chrysler. Stay high and tight. Mommy Tina will always yes. be my main mommy. If she was my mom, I would want to marry her. Cool. Just like the gays. Soraya? Or is that a funny way of saying Sarah? What oh, the fuck is that? Oh, maybe Sarah. Really? S-A-R-Y-H-A. Sarah? Saria? All right. Sharia? Sharia. Uh, eat on the turlet. What do you think, Jean? I did it when I was a little girl. Um, I have a vivid memory of being constipated during dinner like i had to shit but then i also had to eat and my mother bringing me a bowl of spaghetti to eat as i was shitting on the toilet fuck yeah would i do it now as an adult no i mean i accidentally walked in the bathroom with a mouthful of food yesterday mm -hmm. and felt creepy like chewing what was in my mouth to sit down and pee that felt gross yeah i mean there's so much poo and i don't poo bring meals flakes onto the t onto the toilet you know i have brought no. coffees in you know because sometimes the coffee's making you brown. So I'm like, oh, just keep drinking it. Right. But I mean, I don't, I, if I go like, I'm going to have this meal right now, I'm like, no. I'm bring it in the toilet with me. I wouldn't do that. No, I don't do that. I, only because there's poo everywhere. Like the yeah. bacteria 
I don't even think like that. I just am like, what? I mean, why wouldn't you just go back to your food? Like, just why are you bringing it to the toilet? Well, it's two birds with one stone. You're eating and shitting. Like, that's the. It's like symbiotic. Yeah, it's. it's synergy. Synergy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm I'm not a big supporter. I mean, of it. it's a time saver. I'm not gonna lie. I like the theory of it. I just don't think it's very hygienic. Yeah. I don't. I don't think you should. I think there's a lot of poo in the air, and and that's how you get sick. Yeah. I I, I think you should just <laughs> you should eat then shit, um, shit then eat, and if you uh, have food that you want to eat and you also have to shit, just wait. Just well, because it, you're, you're going to wipe and then what? Touch your bowl and then put your bowl down and then wash your hands. So now you've, you've you got be, your shit you hand touching a sandy. your sandy. You could be holding a sandy. Okay, then what do you do? So you put the... Okay, l- let's walk through it. I'm shitting. I'm eating the sandy. Well, first of all, you walk in with one hand. You lift the toilet seat up. That's contaminated. Your hand's already contaminated. Yeah, yeah. It's got shit flex on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like microbial yeah. shit flex. Yeah. I'm sitting down. I'm shitting. I'm shitting. I'm eating, I'm eating, and then, oh, time to wipe. Now what do I do with the Sandy? You finish it. You well, finish I, I'm not a fast eater like you. Yeah. I'm going to say it's half half done. I'm going to put that on a dirty counter with shit flex. Put it on the, the ground. Air. Put it on the ground. <laughs> I'm going to wipe, wipe, no, wipe. You put it in between your feet on the ground. No. You wipe. <laughs> yeah. And then you pick it up and then you finish eating. It's so revolting. Yeah. Some people are nasty as hell. Nasty. Y'all are gross. Y'all, y'all are like nasty. nasty as motherfucking hell right now. I got to tell you, so Sarah Tiana... You know, Sarah T, comedian. Mm -hmm. She and I went to Afghanistan together and we stayed in... Some of y'all is nasty as hell. We stayed in Kandahar, Mm -hmm. Afghanistan. And in Kandahar is what's known as the poo pond. Yeah. Where they put all the sewage from the base into this pond and they churn it. It churns. So you smell shit wafting throughout the base. What is that? Turned on. Did you guys kiss? (laughs) It's the poo pond of Kandahar. Now what happened was uh, many, many weeks later... She got very, very, very ill with meningitis. Uh, and in Atlanta, she was in Atlanta visiting her folks. What caused it? They go, were you by, you know, by poo anytime? And she goes, yeah, I was, I was in Kandahar about a month ago. They go, I could definitely do it to you. Like in the air? That's right. Whoa. Just having it. And, and that's how you get things like like just Gross. floating in the air. And people touch their hands, their mouth. And the next thing I guess you know. the counter argument is that like maybe it'll make you stronger. So you should do it more. <laughs> maybe it was less than a month, actually. I would say maybe, like a couple weeks after we got back. Maybe you should be doing it. Maybe you should be eating on the toilet more to make it <laughs> stronger. Oof. But I guess we settled it. Eat <laughs> all your meals on the toilet. And I also heard while you're potty training your kids that they get pink eye more because they're touching their eye, you know. Yeah. You can't. Look, uh, we so got to actually run this week. I we have a very full day today and um, I want to. So you should eat on the toilet. I'm going to eat saying. on the toilet as soon as I get out of here. <laughs> um, anything else you need to add, Gene? Anything you need to say? Uh, for those of you who don't know, my Netflix special comes out October 10th, Mother Inferior. So get ready to watch that October 10th on Netflix. Very exciting. Very exciting and amaze. Exciting and amaze. I just saw artwork. I just saw a trailer. Very excited. It's for all you, being worked on right now. So the title card, the title shows up, but it, the, the card itself isn't up yet. Sorry, we thought it would be, but they're still finalizing the artwork. So It'll be up there. very soon. Yeah. It's an excellent special. Um Thank you guys again for listening. Here is F A R T by <laughs> Billy Robot. We will see you next week. Um, I have, we have a great guest next week. Um, I'll, I'll just save it for who it is. Okay? Save it. I'll save it. Bye, Jeans. F A R T. F A R T. F A R T. F A R T. The word was F A R T. F A R T. We watched what happened. I watched what happened in Brexit. F A R T. The word was heart, 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 heart. F A R T. The word was heart, 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 heart. F A R T. The word was heart, 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 heart. F A R T. The word was heart, 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 heart. F A R T. F A R T. F A R T. F A R T. The word was heart, 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 heart. Why isn't the government talking about how to retain skilled labor? Why isn't the infrastructure minister talking about how to implement infrastructure funds and get construction workers back to work in Alberta? Why does this government treat Alberta like a fart in the room that nobody wants to talk about or acknowledge? F-A-R-T. Laughing at me. Fart, fart. F-A-R-T. And they're laughing at you. F-A-R-T. Laughing at me. Fart, fart. F-A-R-T. We watch what happened. Fart, 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 fart. I watch what happened. Fart, 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 fart. We watch what happened. Fart, 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 fart. Oh, and by the way, constituents. 
point of order, 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 point of order. Laughing at me, heart laughing, laughing at me, laughing at me, heart laughing, 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 laughing at me, heart laughing, laughing at me, laughing at me, heart laughing, laughing, laughing. We watch what happens, heart, 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 heart. I watch what happens, heart, 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 heart. We watch what happens, heart, 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 heart. Oh, and by the way, constituents. 